Welcome to Claustral Canyon in the Blue Mountains of Australia. We're sure you're really keen on how to get around. At this point, you should have the headset over your head and the little game controller in either hand. Don't worry about which one, just use whichever hand is most comfortable. Take a moment, relax and get yourself acquainted with your surroundings. You'll notice you can turn around by moving your head or if you don't have the neck flexibility of an owl, you can simply swipe your thumb on the circular pad on top of the controller. You will then turn in the direction in which you swipe. This is particularly useful if you're in bed or you have an unpleasant crick in your neck. As you look around, you'll notice green dots scattered around. If you look at one of these dots for more than one second, it will pop. You will fly over to that point of interest and be able to view a 360 video or hear a guided narration. But wait, that's not the only way to get around. For those of you adventurous enough to fly wherever you want to go with complete freedom, just press and hold the trigger button on the front of the controller. It's just that simple. If you want to stop and admire the lovely view, just let go of the trigger button. Getting here was not easy at all. This is really at the bottom of a long hike in a series of what the Aussies call the three abseils of Rainon Junction. Some people may not be familiar with the term abseil. Michael, could you explain what the term abseil actually means? Luke, it would be my pleasure. An abseil is basically what in American English we would call a rappel. It has to be mentioned that none of the photography and laser scanning used to put this 3D model together would have been possible without the help of our clever and very tough canyon guys. Luke, do you remember how Stuart descended very deftly, I might add, into the canyon with our... Colossal Canyon is really only a short three hour drive from Sydney. You wouldn't think a place like this could be so close to a large city, but it is actually right off of the B-59. I know you wouldn't think anything so sensational would be off a nondescript road called the B-59. The water in these parts is too deep for wading. And this is a point where you lower yourself into the water and you swim over to the next section in an intertube. This is a good place to talk about some of the resident creatures in this place. Luke, would you talk a bit about the animals we encountered while making our way around Foster Canyon? Absolutely. Now, before you get into the water, notice the logs around you. This is where you're likely to find Foster Canyon's most feared resident, the tiger snake. The snakes like the fallen logs as they're good for basking in the sun and they provide ample material for making a quick escape. The mortality rate of a snake bite from a tiger snake is high if untreated and the neurotoxin is pretty nasty. Uh, my It isn't immediately obvious, but this canyon is mostly sandstone and has been hollowed out from a single block over around the last six million years. That is a lot of time 
and a lot of water, isn't it, Luke? Yes, it is. Do you remember Brendan, the young hydrologist from Sydney who we met, who was so enthusiastic about the 3D modeling we were doing? He mentioned that Clostral Canyon was carved from a single block of 